Tony Dungy, first NFL game as head coach in the playoffs. Mike, you're in good hands with Allstott. Very early on with a nine yard run. Two plays later on third and one, Dilfer, the ankle okay. Throwing on the move to Carl the Truth Williams, a very strong throw of 23 yards. Three plays later, third and two from the four, Jackie Harris, rusty. Ball bounces off of the head of touchdown. He said who instead kicks a field goal of 3-0. Then, John Jett's punt to Carl the Truth Williams. Unfortunately, he was false. It's a fumble. Matt Russell, oh, he had a, yeah, yeah, yeah. It goes out of bounds. The last team to have possession was Tampa. <laughs> Bobby Ross livid because he said, Russell, you had the ball. Yeah, Bobby Ross sending the message to Matt Russell, fall on the football. You have to realize where you are on the field. If you have an opportunity to make a recovery in the other team's red zone, just fall on the football. You're likely to get some kind of a score, either field goal or touchdown. See that old buck magic coming through again. <laughs> but although they do lose Carl Williams with a bruised rib on the play. Warwick Dunn, it's thunder and lightning. Dunn, nine yards straight in the middle. Had a 100-yard game when they beat uh, Detroit earlier this year in Detroit. Dilfer to Mike Allstott for 11 yards and a first down. Three plays later, Allstott barrels for the first down. <laughs> Same drive, second quarter now. Look at Allstott, stopped. I don't get stopped here. The, and the helmet goes flying. He's a warrior. Even though he loses the helmet, Tom. And take a look at his eyes. Even though this action's going on around him, his eyes are wide open. Very special player. Wow, so special to get him back in the lineup for Tampa Bay. He's been hurt. Dilfer complete to Reed Del Anthony. 23 yards on the play. Three plays later on third down. Dilfer. Harris Copa. Touchdown. But Dilfer at times really winged it. 10 0 Buccaneers, 89 yard drive, 17 plays took almost nine minutes. And Barry Sanders, what a great job the Bucs did. Yeah, yeah, the Bucs did a great job of swarming and gang, gang, gang tackling. However, they also did a good job of holding to the backside in case he decided to cut the ball back. And you see that right there. The guys on the backside of the football field making sure they get a chance to make a play. Only 15 yards rushing in the first half for Barry Sanders and a pick by Anthony Parker. He was the lion buster. He runs it all the way back to the 20 yard line. Picked off Scott Mitchell. Michael, come on, who's that? Who's that? 42 yards. And just makes it. It's good. And the Buccaneers have a 13 0 lead. Ensuing drive on second down. Barry, six yards for a first down, but that was his longest carry in the first half. Mitchell to Sanders. But you know, a lot of times the Bucs said, okay, let me keep him near the sidelines where the sideline can help us make the tackle. Two plays later, fourth and inches. Fourth and inches. Scott Mitchell on a rollout? What? Odd call, Chris. Odd call takes a licking. Things still going Tampa's way. You know, you wait 18 years for a home playoff game, Tom. You're going to get this. Off the hands of a couple of lines. Doink! Back in the hands of Reedell Anthony. Unbelievable play. Yeah, job of great concentration. Ball bounces off of Bailey, the defender. Anthony does a good job of focusing on the ball, getting it, tucking it in, getting up field. 13 0 bunks at the half. Third quarter, first position. <clears throat> Mike Allstat. Seven yards. Then. All Scott. Watch this. <laughs> You're in good hands with All Scott. Touchdown. 20 to nothing. What a run by and the Pro Bowl fullback. This is why he's headed to the Pro Bowl. He has the ability to run through people, but he also has the kind of speed of a tailback where he can run away from people. Late third quarter, 20 to nothing. The the snap to the up man, Ron Rivers, and that's the biggest running play that uh, Detroit had. It's a first down. Third and six. Mitchell scrambles. Derek Brooks, Brad Culpepper hit him. But Scott, dazed, fell back, we left the field on a stretcher. And obviously, after last week, no one could believe this scene, Tom. Yeah, here's the Brooks, hit. Brooks and Culpepper right there get around his head when they made this hit. And certainly, he was down for a while, Chris. And the Lions, what could be going through their minds, thinking now about another teammate, Mitchell, suffered a concussion. The good news is, late report, stable condition, awake and alert in a Tampa area hospital. Mitchell. Now, Frank Reich comes in with a score 20 to 3 to Johnny Morton, to Herman's Moore. This is the same Frank Reich that led Buffalo back from a 35 to 3 deficit in the playoffs against Houston. Touchdown, Tommy Bardell gets the touchdown. Bobby Ross says, you know what? I coach Reich at Maryland for the greatest college comeback ever. It's now 20 to 10. But Dilfer to Rob. Thomas. It's a 50-yard play and a lot of bees down inside the 40. The Lions never get close again. Fireworks. Oh, they're so happy they're going to Venus. 
the Bucks ecstatic. Barry Sanders not. Tony Dungy, one for one in the playoffs.